Good morning to all of those tuning in. This is the Rebel Lemon, and today we're back to playing Ginny LeClue. So last time we wrapped it up, we ended up in our cousin's bedroom, as far as I know, and we discovered her secret. So, yeah. And there was a lot of other interesting stuff that happened right before that. But I'm not going to say anything. That'd be spoilers when you could just go check it out for yourself. But with that being said, we're going to get right into it. If I w remember correctly, we're looking for... components to whatever she was looking for. Uh, exit. Oh, here we go. Another gallery, I'm assuming. Oh, a sticker. I think that's a coffee thing. But it also just might be something for yeah my bad can we not run am i going crazy oh well so she said there was two of them i don't remember what she said they were Bunch of old science fair projects. They had all been submitted by Anonymous, and they'd all won first prize. These awards should be hanging on the walls downstairs. It was sad to see all these marvelous accomplishments hidden away in the attic. Susie wanted so badly to please her parents, to live up to their expectations of what a Glatz girl should be. She never even told them she'd entered the science fairs. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of depressing. A tiny metal object with an antenna and three legs. Looks like a transistor to me. Now, where can I find a battery? Okay, the battery was in the room, right? Okay, that's up. Uh... Don't get me wrong. I don't know much about... There's a track in the ceiling panel around the chandelier. It looks like it can move. Oh, hold up. Before we do anything, I want to play with that. Oh my god, that's a bug! Oh, hell yeah! Don't get me wrong, I like finding bugs. They're actually kind of funny, if you ask me. Hmm... Hell yeah. God. Let's see. Damn it. Stars, lips, hearts, and beakers. What would a girl like Susie use as a password? Oh, beakers. Of course. Okay, so that one's correct. Get this one up. There we go. Of course it was the beakers. Clever. 
Yeah, because who would ever expect that? My staff. Jenny hid the ring in her pocket and flipped through the pages of her journal. No obvious signs of tampering. At least Susie knows how to mind her own business. Now, where can I find a battery? Okay, so I wonder if our or Jenny's mom's um, ID would also be there if we took it, which if you ask me is interesting. I'm sorry, Mr. Pig, but I need your batteries. I love you! I love you! This will oh, only hurt for a second. The guilt trip. The murder. I'm sorry, that's Thank just... You, for donating your body to science. I'll give this stuff to Susie, and then I'll find a way out of this place. So everything we just did was optional. That, if you ask me, is quite intriguing. Which actually gives me the feeling that this might actually play a role later on oh my god do choices matter in this game and if so how much do they matter oh god here you go oh wonderful thank you now back to the task at hand making my escape don't you want to know what these parts are for only if it will help me get out of here Careful! That's a stick of dynamite! Dynamite? Are you crazy? You could have blown me to bits. I did say be careful. What are you making bombs for? They're not bombs. They're silent explosives. Silent explosives? Think about it. Dynamite that doesn't make a sound. Impossible, you say? Not at all. My first breakthrough came when I discovered the unique properties of... I can use this to blow my way out of here! Um, the explosion might be silent, but I think my mom would notice if part of the house was missing. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, thanks for the show and tell, but it's time for me to go. And how exactly are you going to leave without being seen? I just need to find a suitable escape route. Like a window in the attic that leads to the roof? Well, yeah. Actually, that would be pretty helpful. There is one, but it's locked. Electromagnetically. Oh. Where are the controls? Downstairs, in Dad's study. And I can't get there without being seen. Is there some kind of override? It's impossible to open them from up here, unless there was a total power failure. Well then, I know exactly what to do. Okay, well, I'll be here if you need help. Do I? I kind of don't know what to do. But just so you know about explosives, one, stuff like grenades and stuff, they're stable-ish long term. But the problem with all explosives is that they're still explosives. They don't really break down into non-explosive material, so they're always quite dangerous. And due to um, a lot of different things, so for example with grenades, over time the mechanisms might actually fail and might actually just go off on their own. But with stuff like dynamite, dynamite's pretty stable to the point that you could play with it like Play-Doh until it starts sweating nitroglycerin and then it becomes explosive again to the point where 
if it were to like sweat like a drop that like from a table like this to the ground that's enough to make it go boom fun facts what does this machine do that's judy kate she's a portable lie detector portable it's 18 feet tall and bolted to the floor yeah well i'm still working on that part but she can detect a lie with 98 percent accuracy that's quite a claim let's see good evening small human child i am jd kate arbiter of truth detector of lies since this is the first time we have met i will need to calibrate to begin please answer this simple question what is the meaning of life what how am i supposed to answer that ha 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 just kidding Oh, sorry. I've been experimenting with her personality chip. She's using humor to build a better rapport with subjects. Still needs some work. To begin, please tell me your name. Mm. My name is Jenny LeClue. Welcome, Jenny LeClue. I'm just to detect. Please speak a truth or a lie. Tell the truth. I'm curious. I'm good at keeping secrets. You spoke the truth. Would you like to try again? Mm, yeah, actually. Why not? Better make sure it wasn't a fluke. Tell a lie. I'm head cheerleader for the Gumbolt Moonbeams. Go Moonbeams. <laughs> broken it's okay her fuse just tripped she gets very sensitive if you lie to her especially if it's a big lie but don't worry she'll reset in a minute interesting hmm so I gotta play with the science gizmos She helps me find things I've dropped on the floor. Why do you have a man's ring? It belonged to, um, uh, it belonged to a friend. I'm taking care of it for him. But that doesn't make any sense. I'm telling you the truth. No, I mean, why would a ring made of gold stick to a magnet? Unless... There's something more to it. Which of these machines did you say could see inside things? Intriguing. Excuse me, Tim. We need your help. Oh, God. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. My name is Tim, the thermal imaging machine. Metal, plastic, wood. There's nothing I can't see inside. Lead? Except, of course. Your innermost thoughts. Look, I don't need a best friend. I just need him to examine the ring. Ouch. That hurt my feelings. Go easy on him. He's quite sensitive. Ugh. Hi, Tim. Nice to meet you. Oh, how wonderful it is to meet you, my new friend. How can I be of service? I need you to look inside something for me. I'd be delighted to. Please place the object on my soft, velvety platform. Come to me, tiny object of vast mystery and import. Does anyone else feel uncomfortable that Reveal all... to me your deepest secrets. All her inventions, like, talk in their personalities? Swim in my warm bath of gamma rays. I'm peering deeply inside you. Ooh, that. What's that? Deeper still. I've never seen one of those before. Ooh. 
This is disturbing. Fascinating. All the wonders I have seen. Well, spit it out already. One moment, please, while I paint you a picture of the journey we just shared. Very disturbing. And gamma rays are dangerous, are they not? It's a mechanism. I knew there was something special about this ring. It's full of tiny cogs and gears. I've never seen such intricate craftsmanship. I need to borrow your microscope. Oh. I'm glad. Tiny buttons hidden in plain sight. Clever. I oh. wonder what they do. Oh, oh, might be by accident, but I still did it. What? The ring opened up like a flower. Why would the Dean have a ring like this? Whatever its true purpose, one thing was clear. This ring was important. Important enough to kill for? Dean Strausberry. What were you involved in? Did you say Dean Strausberry? Whose ring is that really? Susie had entrusted her deepest, darkest secret to Jenny. The least Jenny could do was be honest with her. I'm gonna trust Susie, I think. It's the Dean's ring. Well, it was. You stole the Dean's ring? Technically, I found it. Jenny, you've got to turn that into the police. It could be important evidence. Considering the police think my mom is the Dean's murderer, I certainly won't be handing it over to them. But what if they ask me about it? I can't lie to them. I'm a terrible liar. It's not lying. It's just leaving out the parts that don't concern them. But I can't go to jail. My parents will disown me, and my reputation will be ruined. No one's going to jail, as long as we protect each other. I'll keep your secret. You keep mine. Like... friends. Sure. Now go back to whatever mad science experiment you were doing. I've got a window to open. Hmm... Complex formulas filled the large chalkboard. Clearly the work of a genius. Okay, she's secretly smart. We get it. What is all this anyway? Oh, that? I'm working on a proof to help me pick the perfect prom dress. You've got to be kidding me. I know, I know. I'm not sure it can be done either, but I've got to try. Oh my god. It's the biggest decision a girl has to make. Gross. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Do the talking machines disturb me a bit? Creep me out? Whatever? Sure. Does AI creep me out? Not really. It's kind of cool. Fragile. Fragile? It's enormous. I haven't finished calibrating him yet. If you want to help, get him to pick some things up and put them down again. He needs the practice. Just don't pick up anything too heavy. Okay. Can I place it anywhere in the laboratory? Ooh! Hmm, 
must have been too heavy. Please be gentle with Claude. He's only a prototype, and I'm out of replacement parts. Okay, I would feel bad if I broke that. Let's calibrate him. So I'm just picking up and throwing pots, is that... Oh! Oh, that's cool, I didn't even know about that. Is there anything else I can fuck with? No. Okay, look, worst case scenario. I blow her fumes and I can't and I'm good to go. Welcome back, Debbie LaCrue. I am ready to detect. Please speak a truth or a lie. I have an evil twin sister called Penny. Worst case, best case scenario, I get to destroy both. It overloaded again. What's the point of a lie detector that overloads? Welcome back, Debbie LaCrue. I am ready to detect. Please speak a truth or a lie. I live in the biggest house in Arthurton. It overloaded again. Hmm. Okay, that's not... Working. Oh my god, it actually lifted more. It broke again. That thing uses a lot of power. Hmm. broke again. That thing uses a lot of power. Weird. Okay, I'm gonna... S I'm gonna stop messing around with stuff in the lab. It is weird, don't get me wrong, that... It's locked electromagnetically. I need to find a way to override it. But how? I've got it! In the back of Jenny's brilliant mind, a plan was forming. I know exactly how to get out of here. How, how can I escape from Glatt's manor? Does it make a sound? She blows a fumes. Sparks and overloads, and there we go. When I overload the robot arm, it sparks and fuses. And when I lie to Judy Kate, she nearly overloads the power supply. So if you do both together... So if I could overload them at the same time, then I might be able to short the power and open the window in the attic. But Jenny couldn't operate both machines by herself. Okay, things are coming together. Not bad at all. 
Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I like Claude the most. He doesn't talk. Susie? Yes? I need your... Asking Susie for help is worse than having a tooth pulled out. I need you to do something. Of course. What can I do to help? I didn't say I needed your help. Oh, sorry. I don't owe you anything. Okay, okay. What do you want me to do? Go stand by Judy, Kate. Uh, all right. But why? No time for questions. Just wait for my instructions. Okay. Can I talk to her game? I'm curious. No, I cannot. Oh, she's not going to be happy about this. Susie, are you ready? Welcome back, Susie Glatz. I am ready to detect. Please speak a truth or a lie. Okay, I'm ready. What should I do now? Just hold on until I give the signal. The robot arm strained under the weight of the giant metal object. Okay, Susie. Tell a lie. And make it a big one. Oh, okay. A big lie. Oh, I've got just the thing. I'm wearing black socks. What? That was a lie. No, Susie. A big lie. Something terrible. I'm just no good at lying. Tell Judy Kate you killed Dean Strousbury. What? That's horrible. I can't say that. Do you want to help or not? Yes, but... Then hurry up and say it. Okay, okay. I killed the Dean? Louder! I killed the Dean. Bigger! I killed Dean Strasberry. Say it like you mean it! I murdered Dean Strasberry. I bashed his brains in. Now I danced on his grave. Wow. That was messed up. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm a horrible person. As Susie Glatz contemplated every bad thing she'd ever done in her life, Jenny heard the unmistakable sound of success. Uh, it worked. I'm not gonna lie. I was gonna say the exact same thing and how that was messed up. Uh, but Jenny kind of beat me to it. And. God damn. Like, if you're gonna go all out, I. Guess Susie kind of. Can't be beat. You can't leave now. It's past curfew. Watch me. Well, you can't go out wearing pajamas. I'm not playing dress up with you while my mom is trapped in jail for a crime she didn't commit. The real killer is still out there. And what if you find him? What then? Jenny paused. She hadn't thought that far ahead. Are you scared? Of course. Of course Jenny was scared, but she would never admit that to Susie. My mom always says, a great detective shows courage in the face of danger. Now is the time to be courageous. Well, let me help you. We can work out a plan together. Sorry, Susie, but I work alone. At least take this with you then. 
so we can stay in touch. Hmm? Yeah, could be cool Fine, commentary. I'll take it. But don't call me. I'll call you. Okay. Good luck. And be careful. There's still a killer out there. I'll be fine. Jenny, you won't tell anyone about my lab, right? Only if you cover for me. Of course. I'm always here for you. We're going to be best friends, Jenny LeClue. I just know it. Sure. Right after I sign up for cheerleading. I don't... To catch a real killer, Jenny needed her detective gear. But that was at home, across town and swarming with police. It wasn't wise to travel through town after curfew. To avoid being caught, she'd have to find another way home. Excellent, thought Jenny. Time to exercise my sneaking muscles. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like how Jenny's treating Susie. That's something she definitely doesn't deserve. Oh god. Some games can make them look cute. Don't get me wrong. This game does not. They are creepy as fuck. Okay, I have to know. Yeah, fuck off, goddamn pigeons. Are they pigeons? They don't look like they have long enough necks. Oh, look at that. Sneaky, sneaky bullshit. Now, where did they hide it? Well, yes, what? Oh, there we go. Purple? Interesting. Hmm. Okay, personally, I like sneaking around finding items. It's actually kind of fun. Well, that's dangerous. Jenny paused at the edge of the roof, her teeth chattering in the chill wind. Below her, Lake Nowhere glowed eerily in the darkness. From this vantage point, she could see all the way to the lighthouse at the center of the lake. Only the wealthiest families in Arthurton could afford such spectacular views. If I cross the lake, it's just a short stroll through the Forgotten Forest to my house. But navigating the lake at night was not an easy task. Many accomplished sailors had met their doom on the ragged rocks of Bear Claw Bend. Well, I've already worked out a way across. Time to get off this roof before someone spots me. Damn it! Think fast, Jenny. And just like that, Jenny was gone. Her first great adventure cut short before it had begun. Uh, I'm right here. Just hanging around. I'm not gonna lie, this is a gorgeous house. I mean, not something I'd ever live in. But, I mean, out of anything I'm, I would complain okay don't go that way yet I like my sneaky sneaky you know Hold on, what's this way then? Oh my god, this is so much prettier up and close. Oh, it's a new one.
Also, I'm not gonna lie, that noise, the little like almost fall off the edge noise, I don't think I've said this before, but it's a little creepy. Oh, and I can walk past the ladder. Oh. Okay, the amount of detail or like little animations they put into the game just for her to sneak around. That's actually quite impressive. I don't think even I would think about it half the time. But it definitely makes sense. Oh my god, they had two? Oh! Oh, I get to play with them! It goes about there. That should go about here. Oh my god, what a beautiful postcard. The skull, though, a little bit off-putting. But I mean, still beautiful. Wait, why are we going this way? That's the way to Main Street. I can't risk being caught by the sheriff or his goons. The safest way home is across the lake. Ooh. Come on, where are ya? Ah, there we go. Okay, I think the only thing I would change about the game is that it would show you the gallery art piece when you pick up the item. Like, it would still, don't get me wrong, it would still say, like, gallery item found, and maybe it would still have the symbol, but I kind of want to see what image is where. Plus then, I don't have to, ah, uh, but then again, maybe the whole point is them wanting you to go through the gallery and like see everything. Like just take your time to relax. I get, I guess, I get that. But I don't know. I guess it's one of those things where it's a personal preference thing. And at least for me, personal preference hinges on the instant gratification on that one. But I can also see the other perspective where it's like, hey, we want you to take your break relax and look at the gallery. I get that one too. But then for me at least. What's that sound? A paper airplane? Like I was saying, for me at least, it's one of those things where I don't really want to check out the gallery until I have everything as What if I don't I am I'm bad at noticing stuff, so what if I pick up something? And I thought I've already seen it, you know? True believer, I am the one you seek. I swim in the shadows of giants that stir beneath an eerie silence. Follow the path, reach the truth. What a curious and cryptic message. Was it meant for her? And who had written it? Friend or foe? This could be from the killer. But it was far too dangerous to find out. I have to find out. And so she decided to ignore the message and carry on to her house. There's no way I'm ignoring the case of the mysterious message. 
Oh God. Okay. Must be a clue. Could be from the Dean's killer. I'm the one you seek. I swim in the shadows of giants that stood beneath the eerie silence. I have no clue what that means. I would start where the message came from. Near the end of the dark. The SS Susie. Okay, that's kind of cute. Bow bone? Not yet. Hmm. So, bowing the boat gets me across to the side of the lake, which is what the narrator would want. But I'm with Susie. I'm too curious about what the message means. Though, I think it's probably from Susie. Wait, no, that can't be it. Okay, nothing that way. Actually, now thinking about it, it doesn't mean it necessarily came from the bone. It could have been up here. Okay, hold on. True believer, I'm the one you seek. So that's referring to us. And I'm the one you seek is the thing we're looking for. Okay. I swim in the shadows of giants that stir beneath an eerie silence. Follow the path, reach the truth. So it wants us to go this way? Because the giants could be the trees, like the forest that's over here. In the hmm. Okay. I'm both creeped out, not gonna lie, and way too curious for my own good. I would be the person in a horror movie that hears a sound and either A is like, oh, my bad, and either A is, mm, nah, fuck that shit, that's how you get murked, or B, I'm gonna go check it out. And... I feel like I would die. Okay, swim in the shadows of giants that stir beneath the eerie silence. Follow the path, reach the truth. Wait, is it not? The Forgotten Forest. Is that what that's referring to? It's weird that there hasn't been any major um Oh, hold up. Oh. Okay, so these are what, major choices? Or ones that don't matter? Weird. Oh, so it could have been a raspberry. Oh, fuck, I knew it. Cold word horse, cold word bird. 
glass house watch pot why is this important go coat ah oh, i wish i kind of donut because it would have actually tied back in with um uh the dean quizzed wyatt about the power cuts oh yeah that's the electrical engineer guy um you like your coffee with six sugars splash of milk and a dash of fucking cinnamon god damn have you ever heard of the um a coffee called the sydney crosby that thing is ridiculous with how much sugars and milk or cream whatever it is is put in to it like i would rather a black coffee than to have something with that much sugar and milk god damn you built a rapport with dan by talking about his hobby but the weather ah i should have talked about his hobby identified with your credentials with your secret code Um, you delivered the, like a detective. Ah, maybe I should have done detective. You mean, oh God, I was really mean to Veronica. That's the one I kind of regret. You ignored the danger, turned off the circuit breaker, considered finding another way to... Huh, that one's interesting. That makes me think that maybe it was another way. You didn't take evidence from the crime scene. I, mm, that one makes me think maybe I should have. She asked a question truthfully. Truthfully. Yes, but... Asked Susie about the mysterious stranger. Oh, shit. Maybe I should have. You cut to the chase, played good cop, gained Susie's trust. You didn't buy it. I actually should have believed her. You made up because all the evidence was around us. You promised Susie, determined. Oh my god, there's so much stuff with Susie. Huh. I didn't- Okay, look. Don't get me wrong. I'm not against blackmail. At least in a game. I just couldn't do it to Susie. Ah, uh, but the journey ahead. Except that- Oh my god, there's still so many. Okay, I think I have to press forward anyways. Hmm. This one might come and bite me in the ass. And if it does, I might reload and figure out what to do. Because I do really want to know what this is about. But I have a feeling it has to do with the forest and not anything else, you know? Hmm. Okay, hold up. Maybe I can... Okay, I'll jump cut here. If I my idea doesn't work, I'll come back in a few seconds. So, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so I looked around a bit. There wasn't much to be found, unfortunately. I went back and forth between this just to like look. But funny enough, this actually changed for some reason. Don't know why. But I think I'm actually thinking that um, the mysterious message has something to do with um, nothing here, 
But with the Forgotten Forest? The SS Susie. A gift from Susie's father as a thank you for preparing his lunch one day. This'll get me across the lake in no time. Holy fuck. the boat didn't belong to her. I'll just borrow it for a couple of hours. They won't even notice it's gone. But borrowing something without asking first was just stealing. It's always easier to ask for forgiveness than wait for permission. Of course, the boat needed a key. Jeez, no, it doesn't. Nobody trusts anyone these days. There must be some other way to start the engine. Okay, not touching that. Give me my gallery yacht. Also, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, boat sticker! I don't like it enough to use it, but I mean... Risk of electric shock, third degree burn, smoldering flash, or death. Warranty void if removed. Nice. Also, I'm not gonna lie, um... I- her logic is weird as fuck. I bet I can hotwire the boat if I get this panel off. Risk of electric shock. It was far too dangerous. I love danger. But weirder yet is the fact... When am I going the wrong way? Oh, I am. Just for preparing a lunch, Susie got a bone? Are you kidding me? I guess they're rich. Damn, this one's stuck. Foiled at the last moment by a rusty screw. Oh well, time to turn back. There's only one screw left. I can just pry the panel back. And so she very carefully pulled on the panel. No, nope. pull it with all your might. But like, I guess the witch, I guess that's just the logic there. Wow, looks complicated. Far too complicated for a child to even attempt. Mom always says, a great detective focuses on the solution, not the problem. It looks like I can bypass the ignition by turning the dials until all the lights are illuminated. Piece of cake. Is it? Oh. Oh, that's kind of cool. It has to be in either this position or that one. So let's try this position. I did it. Oh, that was easy. Jenny had found a way to cross the lake, but she was still a long way from home. She pulled out her journal and plotted a course. First, I'll navigate my way around Skull Island. Next, I'll sail up the river to the Almasdan Bridge. Then it's just a short stroll through the Forgotten Forest. And finally, home. Got it. Let's go. Why go the long way around Skull Island? Unless she thinks it might be a thing where it's less likely to be caught? That one's weird to me. Jenny had never crossed the lake after dark. Come to think of it, she'd never even driven a boat before. She thrust the throttle forward and felt a cool wind whip through her hair. Sneaking around after curfew had its benefits. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oh hell yeah! Oh, that's so satisfying. It's such a nice sound. Goodbye, buoy. Oh no way, that's dope! Whoa. That can't be good for the boat. 
Wait, can I die? Hold up, now I'm curious. Sure is fun to hit stuff. Hell yeah, it is! It's one of the best parts of GTA, and I fucking hate that game. Come on, give me more lines of dialogue, or blow up, something, I don't know. Pretty sure I'm gonna sink the boat. Whee! <laughs> okay. Now that's cute dialogue. And I'm too invested in the death of this little child. Just so I can get more. That's really... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's really messed up now that I think about it. Oh well, not my problem. They wouldn't let me die, would they? I mean, I'm three for three for unique dialogue. I'll hit it two more times. Mostly just because it's satisfying. Yeah. It's got nothing, unfortunately. I will say, the dialogue was nice. It was. Yes. But we are going to be ending it there. Oh, yeah. I guess if we have to, we'll check out... Yeah, there's a lot more new stuff here. It's a nice touch. But we're not touching anything. Because that's for the last um, episode. Okay. Um, add new stickers. Oh no, did I miss a sticker? Oh no, please tell me I didn't. No, that's just a normal kettle, a stove kettle. That's likely for tea. But the thing is, you can have pour over coffee too. Uh, I mean, no, it's not a nice sticker if you ask me. At least for me, it's not a nice sticker. Oh, I'm going to be sad if I missed one. I mean, I guess I could replay episodes to grab the stickers, but I'm still going to be sad about it. Can I decorate any page? Oh my god, I can. That should be obvious, I'm not going to lie. Oh, and it keeps it updated. But again, yeah, why are we going around... The long side. It seems like... Unless there's a reason. Oh, and yeah, there's Dean's dead body. Um... We should be going on the right side of the Skull Island? Weird. Actually, I'm gonna throw in... Uh, the boat sticker here. Oh no, that's way... Oh, no, 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 no. That's way too big. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, no. Too big. Ah, it's a shame. I like the sticker concept, but there's not enough stickers that I actually like to decorate the book. But, then again, maybe it's me who's the problem. Maybe I'm the picky bitch. Nah, not my problem. Game problem. You should have way more stickers. More stickers I like, personally. Yeah, that's the real solution there. Not me increasing my, uh, what do you call it, like, Openness to new ideas and new sticker concepts that I might not fully like, but might be cool nonetheless. No, no, no. Game should <laughs> totally tailor to me and my interests. 
Yep, that sounds right. <laughs> Anyways, besides my joking around, this episode was kind of fun. I actually really like getting to know more of the characters. Especially, I like the interactions between Jenny and other characters. Though, funny enough, I don't... I'm starting to not like Jenny's interactions with all the other characters. Not because the other characters are boring or just not interesting. But more that, I just don't like Jenny's attitude towards some characters. Like, for example, in this episode. Susie was very nice to us. And it felt like... Jenny couldn't get over herself or like there was something else going on there that I wish was explored but there's something going on with Jenny that makes her interaction with at least Susie not really fun to watch um though granted I am interested in how it will play out um, but other than that, I'm excited for the boating scene, not gonna lie. So, with that being said, thank you for tuning into the frequency. This is the Rebel Lemon signing off. So, good night and sweet nightmares.